Hi, this is another video in the Random Linux Stuff playlist. This one's on creating a simple high availability environment with KeepAlive D. We'll discuss how it works, then we install it on two Raspberry Pis and set up a simple configuration. In short, KeepAlive D supports one or more IP addresses that can fail over from one server to another and back, just to keep services available. These addresses are commonly referred to as virtual IPs. But before we concentrate on KeepAlive D, we need to talk a bit about the underlying protocol which is used to establish this high availability. This protocol is VRRP, or Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. In a networked environment, VRRP increases the availability and reachability of network routing paths. But you can also use it in the Linux server environments. Now, since this is a short and high-level video, we will cover VRRP in just four sentences, and then we see how KeepAlive-D uses this protocol for its own purposes. Routers usually come in pairs, where one is the primary or active router, and the other is the secondary or backup router. The primary router acts as a default gateway for a subnet using a virtual IP address to receive route requests but it also sends its active state to the secondary router with regular intervals, just to inform it that it is alive and well. If the primary router fails, it will obviously stop sending these messages, and the secondary router will then enable the virtual IP address and inform the network of the new physical location of this virtual IP address. And finally, if the primary router is back up again, the virtual IP address will fail back to this primary router to re-establish the original situation. Now let's first get a quick overview of KeepAlive-D. In its simplest form, two machines share something which is called a virtual router ID. This is a unique number that kind of creates a ring between the different participating machines. The primary, or master as it's called in KeepAlive-D, has a higher priority than the secondary or backup and you can have multiple backup machines that all have different and lower priorities than the master. This value should be within the range of 0 to 255. The current master will send its health messages to the backups with a particular interval in seconds. This is the advert int parameter. Also of importance is the interface that's being used, obviously, which is the interface parameter. The state parameter determines whether it concerns a master or a backup. And authentication is usually done using a password. And of course, let's not forget we need to define the virtual IP address with Netmask. As I said, this is a very basic setup. There are many more parameters possible, but we'll keep it very basic just to get ourselves started. Now there's one important thing missing here. KeepAlive-D supports multiple virtual IP addresses with multiple masters and multiple backups. So a single machine can be master as well as a backup for different IP addresses. So what we do is we group all the above parameters under a single instance named the VRRP instance. And you can give it an arbitrary name, it doesn't really matter. So you can have multiple instances in the same KeepAlive-D configuration. And the configuration file for these parameters is etc KeepAlive-D, KeepAlive-D.conf. Now let's do an install and configure. I am connected to two Pis and let's make the top one into the master and the bottom one into the backup machine. Now before we start I want to see my current configuration and see that both Pis have a wired and a wireless interface. Now let's install KeepAlive-D. This will only take a few seconds. So we cd to etsy KeepAlive-D and create the config file. Now I buffered the contents of my master file and pasted it into both Pi's config files. Now in the master file we don't need to make any changes. It's got its name, got its router ID and all the other stuff including the IP address at the bottom. So we save the file. But in the backup file we do have to make some changes. First of all we change the uh, priority obviously because it's got to be lower than the master priority and we change master into backup. So we save that file as well. And in fact, we're done. So we can enable and start KeepAlive-D, and then check it out. And once it's started, we list our IP addresses, and we see that the master has the 229 address, as we expected. 
Next thing we do is we stop the master and check our configuration. And see that the address has gone from the master and obviously it has moved to the backup as we see here. And once we start the master again, it will take back the address. This is called preempting, by the way. So it simply has a higher priority and it will take back the address from the backup server, which has the lower priority. And we're done.